guys, welcome back to Taste of Asia at Home. Uh, I just recently returned from a trip to Vancouver for my stepsister's 90th uh, birthday party. And uh, I went up to uh, my seafood uh, store where I, I purchased all my seafood and I, I purchased some uh, squid today. So I thought that would be something different to show you guys. We're going to start off by showing you how to clean the squid and how to cut the squid and then we're going to stir fry it up. Um, in Cantonese, it's called yao yu, and um, there are two ways to cook squid, and one is um, gong chong, which is with the ginger and green onions, and the other one is si ju, is, which is with the uh, garlic, um, green onions, and hot peppers, and black beans. So I'm going to pause the camera and focus on the cutting board, and, and we'll get started. Okay, here on the cutting board, you'll see I have some uh, some squid on the on the left side that I've already uh, cleaned, and the, I left three here to, to, for time's sake to show you guys. Okay, so you need a sharp knife to do this. So we'll touch up the knife, and what you're going to do, I can show you on one of these, on this one. Let's take this one for example. What we're going to do is right the right above the eye, we're going to cut the tentacles. We're going to save them, put them in the bowl, and what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over to the underbelly, and we're going to make a slice down the center. Not all the way through, just to cut through the first layer, and then you come up with all this stuff in the middle that you're going to clean out. There's a membrane, like a clear membrane, and the guts, or whatever you want to call it, inside, that gets tossed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to peel this, this colored layer off, so all that's going to be left is the uh, white fleshy meat of the of the squid. See that that film peel peels off, and this has like the fishy taste to it. So once you get this off, and you wash the the squid that you've all cut up in some running cold water with salt. Uh, they, in Chinese, they call that zhong soy. That that removes any fishy taste. Okay, and what you're going to do when you cut this squid, this is a little, these squid are a little bit small to do this, but what you have to do is carefully hold your knife at a real sharp angle and make, make uh, maybe quarter inch cuts, crisscross. You don't want to go through the, to the, uh, and cut the squid in half. You just want to make some cuts this way, and then you turn the squid around, so you're going to make like a checkerboard. Uh, pattern on the squid, and you'll notice that if you if you get squid in the Chinese restaurants, it will be prepared like this. So, let me see if I can show you. This is what you wind up with: these little checkerboards patterns. Okay, so you want to f prepare all your squid like this. Remember, you, um, you cut off the tentacles first, below the eye, toss them in the bowl, then you split, the, split it down the middle, remove all the, all the stuff inside, peel the film off, and then you slice it. And if you want to, you can cut this in half, and so you have make each squid into two pieces when they're small. If these were bigger, you know, you might get four, four out of them. Okay, so that's the process to, to clean and slice the squid. Okay guys, now I'm over by the sink. I just wanted to show you this one step, uh, the one I was talking about. It's called Zhong Soi. You see what I have here is just regular table salt. I'm going to dump, doesn't matter how much because you're going to rinse it. Give it a couple of shakes so you get a good bit of salt in there. And then you mix it around with your seafood. This You can do this with the fish, squid, uh, anything that has like a little bit of a fishy taste to it. And what you do is you rent, once, once you've done that, you run cold water on it and you keep pouring the water off until the water runs clear. See that? I'm just tossing it with the water, draining it, and then do it again. Like you do this three or four times and then you're uh, 
your squid is going to be tender, tasty, and it won't have any like fishy taste to it. Just the nice white meat of, of the of the squid or the calamari if you want to get fancy with it. So that's just that's just another tip. And it's done, this is done in a lot of Chinese restaurants. See I've got the water running on it. Okay next step is we're gonna cook this up. Okay guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you the, how I've been multitasking today. Uh, you see on this sheet pan I had cooked my, a piece of the roast pork. You can find that on my channel. Uh, and behind that I cut off a, the end of that about maybe three inches of that roast pork and I made some uh, roast pork fried rice for dinner tonight. So since I did that I wanted to keep the squid recipe kind of simple, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the fried calamari and with uh, Thai chili sauce, sweet Thai chili sauce. So I have the oil in the wok and that uh, squid that I, I washed, I put it in a wire mesh strainer and, dr and drained it and then I just mixed up a little bit of that batter. The batter is on the recipe for the uh, chicken goldfingers. It's, um, three parts flour. I use three tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of uh, cornstarch. And a half a teaspoon of uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a touch of salt. And maybe just a dab of uh, cooking oil. And you see I'm taking this uh, squid out of the batter dropping it into the oil. You want to let the batter drain off. You don't want too much batter on it. This is my dinner tonight, so I'm tired of cooking after I did all this. That's why I decided to uh, use the fried calamari for this. I would put a paper towel out and drain the to drain the oil off and cook it until it's crispy. You can use your wire mesh strainer to like uh, to turn it over. See it's almost golden brown now. It's been in here maybe two minutes. I even fried up some of the tentacles.
Then you can see the, how it, I displayed it. It's crispy calamari with uh, a sweet Thai chili sauce. It's good for an appetizer for your parties. And I'll show you the other uh, methods. The, the, my favorite is the black bean, hot pepper, garlic, and green onion. That's another one of my favorites for uh, calamari or squid. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and uh, so see how you can multitask in your own kitchen uh, to make a meal like this. All these recipes are on my channel, the fried rice and the roast pork is really good with uh, uh, pork sparrows also. And thanks for watching.